Hey, welcome to part five of the EMT airway management lecture series. This part, we're going to talk about different airway management techniques. We're going to demonstrate the ability to do basic airway maneuvers, and then we'll start to show you some oxygenation material, um, how to hook up an oxygen tank, as well as hooking up nasal cannulas, non-rebreather masks. We'll put some oral airways in, nasal pharyngeal airways in, as well as taking a look at bag valve mask ventilations. Right now we're going to take a look at a couple of our basic airway maneuvers and then we'll try to put all this together so that you can understand what's going to happen when you approach a patient. One of our first things that we're going to need to do, of course, is to make sure that the scene is safe and that there's no dangers to me or anybody else that is in the area. Remember that we're being called for help because somebody has gone down. We're not sure exactly why. So when we approach our patient, remember one of the first things we're going to do is, again, Scene safe, check around to see what's there. We're gonna make sure that we have our BSI on. Now for these demonstrations, I'm not going to be having it on all the time, just for demonstration purposes. Um, but once we get those things taken care of, we're good to go. So one of the first things we can take a look at is going to be a head tilt chin lift. The head tilt chin lift is going to move the tongue out of the back of the throat. So remember that when an individual goes unconscious, their tongue is a muscle and therefore it's going to become very relaxed and it will occlude off the airway. So one of our first things that we can do, very simple maneuver, head tilt chin lift. We're going to utilize this in patients who do not have any history or any presence that we can see right now of any type of trauma. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take one hand and we're going to place it right on their forehead. The next hand we're going to take two fingers, we're going to place it underneath the, the jaw, the bony, bony prominence of the, jaw, of, the, of the chin here, and then we're going to tilt back. And when we tilt back, you can see that the airway is now opened. Okay, we'll show you that once again. So we're going to come in, we place one hand over their forehead, the next hand is going to be right on the chin, we'll tilt back, and now we have now opened up the airway. We'll take a closer look. Our next maneuver is going to be a jaw thrust maneuver. Our jaw thrust is going to be basically displacing the lower jaw and we're bringing that tongue back out of the airway again. So the easiest way to do that is to be above the patient. So we're above the patient like this. We're going to place our hands right here on the bony prominence of the cheek. We're going to go underneath the jaw. And we're going to do a, if we do a jaw thrust, we're actually coming up like this. This is actually a modified jaw thrust because in this case, I'm not tilting the head back. Okay? So the jaw thrust is just going to be back up like this for a patient who we would suspect of trauma. If you're suspecting that there is no trauma, you can still come back and tilt their head back. And that is not a problem either. But remember, when we deal with a trauma patient, we're going to move that lower jaw. Let's take a closer look. And with our jaw thrust maneuver, we're going to place our fingers right on the, on the cheeks, right underneath the jaw, the lower jaw, we're going to lift up. Okay. If we're going to do a head tilt with this for a non-trauma patient, we do the same thing. We're going to need to come in and do a tilt like that. 